Today, we're going to be talking about the best clothing stores for all budgets. So I've got you covered no matter how much cash you've got in the bank. I do most of my clothes shopping online these days. I prefer to try things on from the comfort of my own home rather than in store. I do hate going to the post office to send stuff back, especially when it's freezing outside like it is now. But that's just me being pathetic and lazy, and it's a small price to pay really. As we're not allowed to go outside and go shopping with the current lockdown we've got in place in the UK at the moment, I thought it was the perfect time to make this video so you have some places to go to check out some new clothing. And also I focused on stores that stock a wide variety of brands, so there'll definitely be something for you. And also just a quick plug, if you do like fashion related content then I release videos on the channel every week, so feel free to hit subscribe. Anyway, let's get into the list and I'm going to start with the most expensive store first and work our way down to the most affordable. So the first on the list and the most expensive on the list is Mr. Porter. So here we are at Mr. Porter, it's got 30% off at the moment for Black Friday. You've got your Black Friday tab there which is not normally there. Uh, you've got your What's New, Designers clothing which is separated into sections to make it easier to navigate. They've also got style edits here and this one's really good, the essentials tab. If you don't know what sort of essentials you need in your wardrobe then this tab is a really good one to go to because it shows you all the basic essentials that Mr. Porter think that you should have in your wardrobe. So if you think you're missing things from your wardrobe but you're not sure what then have a look on here and see what there is. For example, a denim jacket is a really, really versatile item. If you don't want to pay £210, then you can just check out this site and then go elsewhere and buy it for cheaper. But it's really good to get an idea of what you might need for your wardrobe. They've also got a great shoe and sneaker section, plenty of accessories, grooming, so skincare and fragrances, watches, gifts, so that's going to be perfect with Christmas coming up. And they've also got a journal, which is just articles and yeah, like a blog in a way. So you can have a read of the articles on there too. So it's got it all on this site. So designers, they've got 600 designers on here. So just choose one that you like. For me, I'm loving Amy Leon Dora at the moment. So let's see what they've got. This cardigan is something that I've been wanting for ages. I'm not going to be paying £330 for a cardigan, but I can look at it and just enjoy the look of it from the site. The great thing about Mr. Porter as well is they have videos that show you how the item of clothing fits as well which I think is really, really useful and something that I really like when stores do. It's a really, really beautiful cardigan. I just can't afford to spend £330 on a cardigan right now. But if you hit the like button, help the channel out, maybe sometime in the future, I'll be able to buy it. You don't have to spend a fortune on Mr. Porter. They have got brands like Nike, Adidas, Vans and Converse. So you don't have to break the bank by shopping here. But just have a look on their site, see what they've got, see what works for you and leave out what doesn't. I either shop here when I've had a really good month's pay or there's a piece of clothing that I really want to invest in that I just can't get for cheaper anywhere else. Postage times and returns are always really good and if you're someone who's really impatient then Mr. Porter will have you covered because it doesn't take long for that post to arrive. Next on the list and the go-to store for all of my higher quality streetwear clothing is End Clothing. So the End Clothing site is very, very similar to the layout of the Mr. Porter site. I love End Clothing. I spend way too much time on this site. Check it out for yourself. They've got so many brands on here that you're going to find something that works for you. Another one of my favorites at the moment is Droll de Monsure. You can't get these guys at Mr. Porter, so I come to End specifically for this brand. Unlike Mr. Porter, unfortunately, there is no videos to show you how the item fits on body. You've only got photos. The size charts are amazing on end though, so get an item of clothing that you like the fit of and then compare it to the size chart and then you know if an item of clothing is going to fit you well or not. On the more affordable end, they've got brands such as Nike, Converse, Vans, your general high street stuff. And on the higher end, they've got brands such as Gucci, Alexander McQueen and Margiela, for example. I've been shopping at M now for about five or six years and the service is always top notch. Delivery times and returns are always easy to do. And yeah, I can't recommend them enough. Okay, now things are getting more affordable and we're moving on to the next store, which is a very well-known store called ASOS. And I'm gonna tell you what I do when I shop at ASOS. So ASOS, I'm sure you've been on ASOS before. I come to ASOS for brands like Nike a lot. So the sweatshirts that I'm absolutely in love with are these and I always come to ASOS to get these kinds of sweatshirts because they're, I don't know, like two pounds cheaper than other stores. Every little helps. 
and um, a lot of the time they also have a video to show you how the product fits. On this item, they don't. Another brand worth checking out on ASOS is Weekday. It's really nice stuff, really affordable, and yeah, just basic stuff like this beanie, 12 quid, you can't go wrong. The thing with ASOS though is it's got so many brands on there and depending on which brand you go for depends on the price, but a lot of it is very affordable. ASOS do their own clothing as well, which is really affordable. £28, £22 for a sweatshirt, 38 quid for a fleece. There we go, a hoodie for 22 quid. The only thing I will say is the quality can be a bit hit and miss on ASOS, but you do get what you pay for. I would advise that you invest in your clothing and buy better quality when you can because it's going to last you longer. Buy cheap, buy twice is always what I say. But sometimes we can't always afford to buy more expensive items. The main downside with ASOS for me is that they've just got so much stuff on there. 216 of 15,220 products and this is just for their own stuff. So they've got a load of other stuff on their site as well. This is the thing that puts me off shopping here. You just have to know what you're looking for, otherwise you'll be here for days. On the plus side, postage and returns are really easy from ASOS, and they also offer something called Klarna. If you don't know what Klarna is, it's a buy now, pay later scheme, where you receive the items, you send back what you don't want, and you pay for what you keep. And last, but definitely not least, I'm combining three stores into one where you can find some of the most exciting items for amazing prices. I wanted to include these all together because they're essentially stores where people like you and I go to sell our own clothing. So the stores I'm talking about are Depop, Grailed and eBay. My favourite of the three and the one that I use the most is Depop. I've just found the most items from there and also I use it to sell items on there the most myself. But I still check on the other two and I still do buy from the other two as well. So Depop, I usually use their app on my phone but they do have a website as well. I put Depop at the most affordable because it really does depend on what you're looking for. If you're looking for ASOS items or Uniqlo items then they're already really affordable when you buy them from store. So they're going to be even more affordable on this site. So let's take a brand that I'm enjoying at the moment and have a look what they've got. So straight off the bat here, we've got a brand new jacket with the tag still attached. This jacket probably would have cost about £200 when it was brand new from the store and you're getting it for 96 quid. So although it's quite expensive, it's an expensive brand, but you're getting a brand new item for about half the price. This seller's got 639 reviews, 5 star rating, He's very trustworthy. I'd be happy to buy this item off him. So look at this guy's shop, for example. He's got 129 reviews, five stars. I don't know this guy, I've just found him now. 10 quid for an ASOS jacket. It's current ASOS stock for 55 quid. He wants it gone, 10 pounds. Absolute bargain. It looks in great condition. For a tenner, you're gonna get yourself a new jacket. And here again, seven quid for a vest. You can just find some absolute steals on here. It's only 25 quid originally, but still seven pounds. Yeah, absolute bargain. It's up to the seller how much they sell their items for, but it is worth checking with the seller before you buy an item if they can lower the price any more, because sometimes they are willing to do that. You can find any brands on these sites. It just depends what people are selling from their own collection. The main downsides to these sites is they often don't take returns. So you have to know your size or what you're looking for before buying, because otherwise it's just a bit of a risk if it's going to fit you or not. I would always check the reviews of a store before buying from them, because I have heard some horror stories. Luckily I've never had any problems myself, but then I do check who I'm buying from before I buy from them. Another tip is, is always pay through PayPal, because if anything does go wrong, you'll have PayPal to back you up and you'll be able to get your money back. Let me know your favourite stores to shop at and let me know if any of these stores were new for you. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video next week. See ya!